Hey YouTubers, it's WiggleFan2001 back with another video, and this time I've got the Wiggle Avengers Age of Ultron Quinjet City Chase. It's ages are 8 to 14, 760 It's got 722 pieces, and it retails for $79.99. And uh, I think first we'll go ahead and take a look at. The Quinn Jet. Move the truck out of the way. Super Jet will come in later. Now this is the Quinn Jet. It's very big. It's got um a sticker. Okay, by the way, it has a lot of stickers. So sticker, 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 sticker. Sticker, 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 a sticker here, and then there's a sticker there, and inside the cockpit, which will bring us to our first minifigure, which is Black Widow, and now she is a great minifigure, one of the reasons why I recommend buying this set. It's for the minifigs. So, Black Widow, she's got a brand new hairpiece. We're seeing in um, Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. She's got um, excellent Lego Toy Story printing. She's got hideous guns, which I'll show you what to do in a second. Back printing. She had, um, a double side face where she's smiling, and she's great. The worst part about this minifigure is by far the guns, which, now these are not Lego and they're not custom, so, uh, hang up, it's just now, these guns I just gave her, these are actual real guns. Like, they're not, like, supposed to be lasers or something stupid. She has, like, actual pistols, and those come inside a Creo poly bag minifigure pack thing with a lot of the characters. So, I recommend getting those if you want realistic guns. You don't want to use these ugly things. So, I recommend getting those. Minus that, this is a fantastic minifigure. And now let's take a look at the cockpit. As you can see with the cockpit, there's like little joysticks right there. And there's... Uh oh. Hang on for just a second. There is a computer screen. And I don't know what that is actually. But there's a computer screen. There's actually a seat, and um, there's just a white two pack in there. One of those like weird jumper parts. So that's Black Widow. Now, uh, right here, there's a green loaded missile. You can press that shoots it they can shoot very far they give you a bunch of them they give you like 10 of these uh oh one the other side now if we come over here you see this old button Sorry. that is for a rope and if I pick this up come Okay, so you can see the rope, it's right there. As you can see, right there, it connects on right here. And when you press this um, Avengers logo, it jumps down. And what you're meant to do is, you want to have Black Widow like 
could have gotten to that. Or like Captain America, Iron Man, Vision, who, whoever you want to use, you can even use like Thor or Hawkeye if you want to. So that's what that's for. Now if we turn around to the back. Okay, I'll go ahead and take this out of the way. Just give me one. Now if we turn around to the back, right here there's an opening part. I don't know if you can see in there very well. There's Iron Man. I'll show you that in just a second. And there's also protective mechanism. Wait, down there. Can't really see it. There's a fight extinguisher and a wrench right there. And now this is uh, Iron Man Mike 43. He actually has a super jumper. Right there. Back printing. Front printing. It's got leg printing. You really like this new Iron Man suit? This is probably the best one. This is Mike 45. There's his face. There's another face. Got a new printing for the eye. But no blue we pull we first. Excuse me. What you're about to do is this guy. Which actually I'll show that in a second. But now let's let's move on to the other screen to show you more play build. Now if you see this, there's like a little cannon right here. I know they're more of those screen missiles, which like I showed earlier. To those blue studs. And um, this can move. It's got a, moves quite a bit actually. It's got. Dog. Oh, tricky. It's got good. Ah, tricky way you said. Hang on for just a second. Oh, it also looks real. As you can see right here, there's a. Two tires there, two tires there. And as you can see, there's all blue lights on the bottom, which. No. But pause it down for just another second. I'm so sorry about that, but. Right here, if you press um, this. Pressing that square part right there. Now watch what will happen. Now what happened was the whole bunch of tactic in here. You place the motorcycle and you press that button, and um, your motorcycle will drop. And on this, I'll just show you. What? You have Captain America, which is the new one, and. There's a lot of people that don't like it, and there's a lot of people that like it. I personally think this is much, much better than the, um, original. When the first, when the, uh, Avengers set, like the Avengers, what was it? It was like that alien, basically, army builder set. Got like the two aliens, plus Cap. Like a motorcycle. This set kind of is stunk, in my opinion. He's got back printing. Got all red. And then he's got front printing. And now this is very accurate to the movie. It's not like vision, which you'll see in quite just a few moments. Which is definitely inaccurate. Or oh, we actually don't know if it's accurate or inaccurate. This is head, he's got the A. Now his skin is a little darker. Than what's supposed to be. But you can't do anything about that. I mean, I'm not gonna complain about that. That's not anything but that big of a deal. And then with that though also came the motorcycle. Which is the um electric Harley that was but they revealed back in twenty fourteen was gonna be sent the movie. Black Widow was gonna be using Captain America and some of the Avengers. Got two stickers here. Handlebar clip, and um, yeah, that's about it for the Quinn Jet itself. But now we gotta move on to the truck. 
No, I. Here's this truck. We've got the windshield. We have actually um a steering wheel in there. Now I. Uh, sorry about that. Um. Pause there. Deeply sorry. Um. So this truck has has a steering wheel inside, like I said. It's got these little. Well. See, you don't want to show that yet. It's got handlebars for. All trying to hold on to, which I'll show you him in just a moment. Okay, let's just say he's going this way for some reason. There. Um. It comes with no driver, so let's imagine that the driver is all trying to door. Door's on the back. There. And now the main play feature of this is you explode it. I think it'd be great with the Hulk. And Avengers are trying to help, rescue, or whatever. Stop Ultron in the vision, I think. Right? Rescue the vision, stop Ultron. And this is a fantastic minivig. I don't really like the new capes, but it's fine. Back printing. Back of head printing. I'm pretty sure it's got the Mind Stone um, right a mind gem right there. Multi scepter. Spoiler alert. Ultron has it. You know, like we have silver. Sand green, which it should have been more wine green, but it's fine. Pink hands. Pink, purple, gold. Great minifigure. And this is the Ultron Ultimate. Ultimate Ultron. So I think this is Ultron like 3. What says do I? No strings on me. Now this is a fantastic minifigure, but I have problems with it. The Black Widow Vision and Captain America minifigure are much better. The Wake Fenty is fantastic. The Torso printing and Back Fenty is fantastic. This whole helmet combo thing, that's where the problems start coming in, and it's the face that really does it. I'm gonna show you the head. It's just an orange head. He has eyes, and if you look at this minifigure, hang on, just a, he doesn't really have eyes, and he has no teeth, which he's supposed to have. We got Printy on this helmet, Printy down here, which actually they printed on the teeth. It looks like maybe doesn't really look very good though. My that that's fantastic, and now. No, I've um, uh, I've reloaded it. I fixed it all up. But now, here's the main play. This is one of the main playability features. So you have Iron Man, from the Super Jumper, and you meant to try and launch him at um that. So, now let me just see if I can get this. Well, it does not seem to be working very well. Let me just see. Well, but what you meant to do is, here's Iron Man, whoosh, and then he falls in the capsule, and that's what you're meant to do, but it's kind of difficult. So now, um, I want to show actually the extra pieces. There's quite a few extra pieces. You get all of this. What we be seeing here is extra. My subject separated. That's actually probably what's that. But all of this stuff extra. So now I'm gonna go on to the instruction. So now here are the instructions. There's book one, book two. It has how many pages in here? It's seventy-six pages for book two and sixty-two pages for book one. And now let's go into the box. There's the front. There's the back. Now, final verdict. Overall, this is a great set, worth 80 bucks. I want to get Toys to Us because there's a free poly bag with it. And I'm going to give the set um an 8 out of 10. I believe there's a couple problems with it, but overall, it's a great set. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye.